we start doing the pre-flight and, and I'm not hearing any of it, all I'm hearing in my head is, run, run for dear life. <laughs> but I, I keep going through, I decide to stick with this, I'm not going to run. We get in the airplane, we start doing the checklist, we go for, you know, taxi and we take off. First 15 minutes, absolute sheer terror. He's explaining things to me and instruments and I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, and he's like, just keep these instruments in the green. I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking, what happens if it gets out of the green? Are we going to go dodging to the, you know, to the ground? Well, 15 minutes in, I, I made a decision. Something came upon me and I said, what would happen? Instead of fighting this fear that's coming into me that makes me feel like I could possibly explode from it, what would happen if I maybe just allowed the fear to settle into me and take hold? What would happen? And so I did that, and believe it or not, an amazing peace and serenity came over me after I did that. It was like kind of surrendering to it. And after doing that, I started to feel this peace and bliss and more presence than I've ever felt in my life. I was so never more here and now as I was in that moment. And then for the rest of the flight, I'm looking down and going, whoa, this is pretty cool. And, you know, he's like, we got to go back now. I'm like, ah, oh, So we get back to the ground, and I was hooked. 